it's Dr. Murdoch here, just with some um, exciting COVID vaccine updates. So just some interim information from the CDC. So as of mid-February, about 15 million people have received at least one dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, which is amazing. And also what the CDC has done is they have instituted a self-reporting system so that anyone who has the vaccine can report online any side effects, any issues. Also, if you register with the system, they'll um, send you text messages to ask if you had any side effect or symptoms. So as part of their self-reporting, they're also tracking pregnant women who have had the vaccine, which is great. We really need that data. So in the vaccine reporting system, there's been about 30,000 um, reported pregnant women who've had the vaccine. There, there's probably more than that, but that's just how many have self-reported. It seems pretty split, 50-50, between the Pfizer and the Moderna. Um, good news is the vaccine side effects in pregnant women are pretty much identical to those um, in women who are not pregnant, and there doesn't seem to be any increase in severity. As for everybody, the most common side effect seems to be pain at the injection site, which is pretty common with any vaccine that we get, right? So what's really cool is that almost 2,000 women, 1,900 women have um, electively gone into what's called a pregnancy registry. And women are um, can be entered if they're any time in their pregnancy. Um, first trimester, second trimester, third trimester. And what happens is they register and they say it's okay um, for the <clears throat> CDC to contact them just by text message again, um, once per trimester, after delivery, and uh, after the baby is three months of age. And what they're tracking basically is miscarriage rate, pregnancy complications, preterm delivery, and any complications um, with the babies um, that were born. So at this point, about 50% of the women who have registered are in their first trimester, 30% are in the second, and about 22% are in the third trimester. There have actually been 275 completed pregnancies, which is pretty cool since we've only had the vaccine out since the very end of December, beginning of January. And although this is small numbers of uh, patients, the data we have so far is really reassuring. Um, miscarriage rate is not increased in women who've had the vaccine, it actually is lower than the background rate. So background rate of miscarriage is about 26%. So far, we've seen about a 15% rate um, in women who have been vaccinated. So that's really reassuring. Also, there's no differences in um, pregnancy complications such as gestational diabetes, um, preeclampsia, um, intrauterine growth restriction, which is where babies are small. There's also been no difference in um, preterm birth or congenital anomalies in babies in women who have been vaccinated. So again, although we have small numbers here, what we have so far is really reassuring and the CDC continues to collect this data. So anybody who's pregnant um, who got the vaccine, please um, think about um, registering in the system. You don't have to give any personal information. It's just, it's really great um, to have all this good data. So bottom line is so far, we've seen no unexpected maternal or fetal um, complications in uh, women who've been vaccinated. So good news, good news, and get your vaccine and wear your masks, wash your hands, social distance. Have a great day. Bye.